Can knowing one fact make you better at Minecraft building? You see, when people start out drawing animals or building animals in Minecraft, they always make the same mistake. Here are some of my earlier builds and drawings. Let's see what they all have in common. So, here is a drawing of a dog that I did a few years ago in a book. Not sure why I've still got it, but um, it's actually, it's alright, this one. And here we have the blue-eyed cow, which is, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about this. And now look at this building of a cow compared to the one that you've just seen. What's different about it? The answer is that this cow was built with our one fact in mind, and that is that most animals are made up of simply ten lines, nine straight lines and one curved. Let me show you what I mean. So if we look at this cow, we can see that one of its lines goes up to the kneecap halfway up the leg. The next line goes straight up to the spine. Now, the same is true of each of the four legs, which gives us eight of our lines. And now, we just use the spinal line, which is our one curved line that curves along the back of the body, connecting all of the legs, and then have one straight line, which is the angle that the head is looking. So, we can also see this in other animals, like human figures. So, we've got the curved line for the spine, the straight line going down to the knee and then down to the floor, and then one straight line for the head going in the direction that the neck is going to be pointing the head in, and then another straight line going from the shoulder to the elbow, and another straight line going from the elbow to the hand. However, if we look back at the drawing I showed you earlier, we'll see that it doesn't follow this rule. Its legs are just four straight lines going down towards the floor, the spinal cord line and the neck line aren't connected as they should be, so its spine would go like this, which is not realistic. And finally, its headline is not very straight either. So let me show you how this fact can help us when building an animal. And I'm going to use the cow from earlier. So as you can see, I start by building the curved line for the spine, which is what all of the other lines are going to be coming off. Now, I just hang the rest of the body off where this spine is, and as you can see, it makes quite a nice shape for what will later be the cow. But now I have the line in for the spine, and also an idea of how big the body's going to be, I can put in the line for the neck of which way the head is going to be angled. Next, I put in the lines for the legs. Now, the back legs of a cow are inverted compared to the way that a human knee bends, but the front legs bend in the same way. But these front legs are going to be pretty straight for this build, so I just build the first one down, add a kneecap so we can see where the first line ends and the next one begins, and then take it down to the ground. Now I add in the shape of the body, which is pretty much just extending it out and smoothing it up slowly instead of going out as a square. And now I can do the head, which is pretty easy because the nose is going to be angled at the same diagonal as the line is, and then the actual head itself is just building up a little bit from that. Now I can just join up all of the lines I've got so far and then fill in the area between them. And the way that I can do the legs is just by thickening up the lines that we've already placed in, with very little effort. All I need to do is fill in the head and add some more details, and that cow is done much easier than it would have been if I built it without this rule. Now obviously the rule of having 10 lines, one of which is curved, isn't going to apply to every single animal. For example, an octopus is very different, and it's almost an inverse, it has 8 curved lines and then one straight line. But I just hoped to show you in this video that all animals can be broken down into simple parts like these lines, and it's much easier to break them down first before starting to build them. But thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! If you're interested in watching me transform double life, then uh, click here. It helps me out, and it's a good video, I think.